one of the case studies that might come up in uh, the rest of the surf part of the exam would ask you to compare the impact of an earthquake uh, relating to the levels of wealth. Uh, for that, we look at two case studies. Okay, we look at uh, Sichuan in China, which is an example of an earthquake hitting a poor part of the world on an LEDC. Okay, and then we look at Kobe, okay, which is a nice example of an earthquake hitting a rich part of the world. Now. What's important to remember is that actually these two earthquakes uh, were of very similar magnitude. So any real difference in terms of the impact and the responses is primarily down to the difference in levels of wealth. Remember, in Sichuan is a poor uh, area of the world. Okay, in China, Kobe in Japan is a rich part of the world. So let's start off by looking at the impacts. Uh, obviously, probably the primary thing we need to think about with earthquakes is the amount of buildings that are destroyed. Now, Kobe is a rich, wealthy country, therefore its buildings were built from well-constructed uh, designs using good quality materials, and many of them would have been designed to be earthquake-proof. So despite the size of the earthquake, we saw around 200,000 buildings destroyed. Now, comparing that to Sichuan, obviously a much poorer part of the world, uh, poor quality construction, uh, not particularly good materials, and very few earthquake-proof buildings, we saw a much higher number, somewhere in the region of 5.4 uh, million buildings destroyed. Now, obviously, uh, the buildings being destroyed was a, a primary cause for a huge number of deaths, and obviously there's a, a nice link here, because... If we now look at the number of deaths that were experienced in the two earthquakes, we're looking at somewhere in the region of about 6,000 in Kobe and 86,000 okay, in Sichuan. Now, obviously, primarily uh, that is down to the fact that so many buildings collapsed in Sichuan due to how poor the country is, but it could also be linked uh, in other ways to the difference in wealth in the countries, in that Sichuan's response was much slower, their medical services weren't as well equipped due to being poorer, and as a result many people died from their injuries or illnesses that they uh, got after the, after the initial disaster. And in terms of road as well that were destroyed, big difference here. Yeah, many of Kobe's uh, roads were designed to be earthquake proof, and it was actually it was only a very small amount, about one kilometer of a uh, highway in Kobe that was destroyed because they'd got their calculations slightly wrong. Compare that to 5,300 kilometers of road destroyed in Sichuan. Obviously, that links very uh, closely to the scale of the disaster in terms of the fact that those Sichuan was much poorer. Its, building, its uh, roads were destroyed, therefore its uh, response, its emergency services were unable to get to people in remote areas, which probably led to a higher number of deaths. So we can start to see how poverty and all of these impacts link together. Uh, the final thing we might want to look at is actually just cost of damage. And this is the only kind of fact here that we've got that probably actually is more in favour, shall we say, of Sichuan. Sichuan suffered around £86 billion pounds worth of damage. Still a large amount of money, but compare that to the 220 billion in Kobe, you know, is a big difference. This is primarily because the buildings that were destroyed in Kobe were obviously much more expensive to repair and replace due to their original better construction. Okay, so, moving on. If we now go to look at our responses... The initial thing to think about is the speed of the response and the time. Kobe was obviously well prepared. It had a really well trained emergency services and lots of provisions ready for such a disaster. Uh, this is primarily because obviously they're a wealthier country. So their response here was very fast. Uh, unfortunately, in Sichuan, a much poorer country, they were much uh, more disorganised. They didn't have the uh, provisions ready. And as a result, their response was slow, resulting in even more deaths. Uh, another nice example of kind of the speed in which uh, they responded is uh, if we looked at our schools. In uh, Kobe, you know, money was put into rebuilding public services very quickly, so they were reopened within three months. However, in Sichuan, a year later, they were still shut. 
that meant that uh, children in Sichuan uh, missed out on a huge amount of their education. We've already talked about a bit about the effectiveness, but we can just look at that in a bit more detail. Uh, firstly, as we said, Kobe, with its wealth, had well-trained and uh, emergency services and was planned uh, for a, such a natural disaster. So lives were saved. At the same time, Sichuan lack of wealth resulted in a disorganised response, primarily through the army, who were not well trained, didn't have the equipment to deal with the disaster, and it was much, much slower. Also in Sichuan, they uh, relied heavily on the provision of international aid. Obviously this takes a bit of time to get over uh, to the area, and as a result, again, lengthen the amount of time it took for the response. Whereas in uh, Kobe, in a rich country, they were able to deal with the problem themselves. One of the last things that I like to look at is this, okay, the Motorola symbol. In Kobe, Motorola very kindly kept all um, uh, mobile networks open for free. This allowed people to contact uh, each other to check on loved ones and relatives and also to contact emergency services if they needed to. Sichuan, however, all phone lines were down. This really did slow down the uh, speed of the response. It meant that emergency services didn't know where to go, they didn't know which areas had been most badly affected and people couldn't make contact with uh, loved ones. So, you know, really big difference between the two uh, earthquakes. As I said, remember, very similar in terms of their magnitude, but really significant difference in terms of the impact and the level of response, which is primarily down to that difference in wealth.